first degree murder trial in Winnipeg has her testimony describing a life of brutality endured by a five year old girl. And a warning many of the details are disturbing. Phoenix Sinclair died three years ago. Her mother and the mother's common law husband are on trial. Joining us with more on the story is Canadian press reporter Chinta Puxley in Winnipeg. So, Chinta, just tell us more about what we've heard so far in trial today. Well, we've just heard horrific details. As, as you mentioned, uh, they, are, uh, they are very disturbing to listen to. Uh, we heard uh, the youngest uh, son of uh, Carl McKay, who's the common-law husband, uh, start his testimony today. Uh, he testified that he saw Phoenix Sinclair just brutally beaten with a metal rod, with a broken fridge handle, that uh, she was often left in a very dirty basement um, as punishment uh, because she used to soil herself. Uh, he said that she was uh, she was often ill, and uh, and he testified that he saw her actually being forced to eat her own vomit at one point by uh, by her guardians, uh, getting a, a bloody nose in the process. Uh, the day before uh, she died, he said uh, he testified that she was. Phoenix was brutally beaten in the basement and uh, and just left there. Well, th this kind of testimony is is it's just uh, it's monstrous. But beyond the actual testimony, uh, there is supposed to be a video shown to the jury today. What do we know about what is in this video? What might it reveal? Well, we actually saw a, a video uh, yesterday. It was uh, it was a police uh, a video uh, of uh, the interrogation of uh, Samantha Keymatch. And uh, this morning, it was discussed whether or not to release that video to the media. That uh, that decision is still uh, is still pending. Um, but what we saw was uh, was a very emotional apology. In fact, uh, that uh, Samantha Keymatch uh, gave once a police officer left the interrogation room, in which she apologized to her daughter and said that she loved her, and uh, and that none of this was meant to happen. Obviously, um, all of this information difficult for the jury to process. If, in the end, though, the allegations are proven to be true, this is clearly more than just a case of parental neglect or abuse. Uh, did social services suspect anything before the, the child went missing? Uh, yes, she, I believe she was taken, uh, she was taken from the home, but, uh, but she was returned there. Um, and uh, and so this uh, this may well be the subject of a public inquiry after the trial has uh, has concluded. And has anybody speculated as to how it was possible that no one knew she was missing until mon ten months after she disappeared? Well, we haven't had uh, we haven't had much speculation up to that point. Obviously, uh, there were some concerns, and people did have some suspicions. Uh, the reason why uh, she was finally discovered was because uh, welfare investigators uh, went looking for her and wanted some confirmation that she was in fact still with the family. So they obviously had some suspicion that something had happened, and uh, and we heard the earlier testimony that uh, in fact Samantha Keymatch was arrested uh, because. At the time, she agreed to, to meet a welfare investigator at a uh, Winnipeg mall and tried to allegedly tried to pass off uh, another child as Phoenix. But when the welfare investigator asked the child, are you Phoenix Sinclair, the child said no. Okay. And that's when she was arrested. Chinta, thanks very much for the latest on the trial. Thank you. Chinta Puxley of Canadian Press reporting from Winnipeg. <laughs>